fifth gear and go. <laughs> This is Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today in eastern France, in fact the very east of France because just over there behind the M140i is Germany. Now I have taken this car to Germany once before shortly after uh, my visit to Pure Turbos and of course my first time to the Nürburgring. Those are all videos which are up on the channel which you should have already seen so far. The car in question by the way is doing amazing. It's been a bit of a trip with this thing. I think we've done just over 2,500 kilometers. It's actually such a good cruiser. I've been averaging about 25 mpg over this trip. That of course is going to change because obviously just over there is Germany along with the de-restricted Autobahn. The weather conditions tonight and tomorrow morning are looking brilliant. So this video is probably going to be split uh, from tonight and tomorrow uh, as I go through Germany. Also, whilst we're here, excuse how scruffy I look and excuse the stupid tan. Hopefully you can gloss over both of those things. But I think without further ado, let's hop in the car, head over to Germany, which is just over there and see what we can get out of this thing. This is the official 200 mile an hour attempt in my stage three M140i. Now, the reason why I'm actually out here in uh, Europe at the moment is for the challenge which I did with my good friend Ben from Driving With Ben, uh, where I essentially raced him from the UK down to Monaco. We're in Monaco partially for a little event down there, Top Marks Monaco, but also just for a bit of a break for me. I love that place. I've been dying to go back. Um, and it was uh, epic. But yeah, essentially now I'm just on my way back home. I thought I'd make a couple of stops on the way, i.e. to Germany and Belgium for a couple of other videos, which you will be seeing soon. Now, like I mentioned, Germany is literally just in front of us. I imagine just a couple of kilometers away. Uh, I'm staying near Stuttgart tonight and then heading up basically through the entirety of Germany tomorrow. Hence why the plan is to film this video over a couple of days. As you can see as well, we have the trusty V Box performance box touch uh, out at the moment obviously currently displaying our live speed uh, of course there's loads of different modes uh, which I use uh, out on track you can do lap timing that kind of thing and the main reason for that is this car's speedo actually only goes up to 160 miles an hour obviously the car does more so with this we can see a live GPS reading uh, very very accurate of what we are doing now we have just literally crossed the border there isn't no kind of border as such we've literally just driven through uh, the imaginary border into Germany, although it's still uh, a speed limited section. So we'll have to wait for a nice little de-restricted sign, the best sign in the world. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we can get ourselves underway. But I've just filled up with fuel, so we're full weight at the moment. Um, obviously you're gonna be churning through a lot more fuel uh, doing high speeds and all the necessary precautions have already been done as well. I think that goes without saying. This then in front of us is the sign we need. We're in Sport Plus, still the old sports displays on. Make sure there's nothing coming and go. <laughs> He's off a little bit, first little pull. It is remarkable how quick this thing is. Absolutely remarkable. <laughs> Sixth gear. It's so quick. It is so, so quick, this car. Now it is probably worth noting as well, we're not running race fuel at the moment, we're just running, uh, just pump fuel. So we're just running uh, 620 horsepower at the moment, as opposed to the 730. Um, yes, it would make a difference um, to the acceleration, but I don't think it would make that much difference to the, the maybe the top speed. It, it's all down to the road conditions, I guess, as well. Like I mentioned, we've got a perfect day for it, or evening, should we say, uh, for it at the moment. So I thought, why not make the most of it? <laughs> That's actually quite interesting because I haven't really driven this car that hard on this trip. So I kind of, I didn't forget how quick it was, but it certainly was at the back of my mind, put it that way. <laughs> 
and it's so casual at these speeds. Like you could be cruising now at about 140 miles an hour. It's pretty casual. It's nice and steady. It's fairly stable, and it kind of takes it in its stride, really. Fifth gear and go. <laughs> as quick as what it was when I did it before. I think it might have been because there was a little bit of race fuel still in the tank. Still absolutely insane. 6.5. I mean, yes, it is completely legal. This is the de-restricted autobahn, but you've just got to be so vigilant. If it was raining, I would not be doing this. plus pulls and it just takes it in its stride try again to have had some race fuel in the tank for this. Still, I'm on a road trip. It's not really viable to be carrying ethanol with you. get over how effortless this car is it's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant like I said this road trip I've currently done about two and a half thousand kilometers it's been a total cruise up until this point super comfy super practical super fun even still and yet it can do this <laughs> Fading and also the fact that my hotel is just around the corner, 
I think at least for tonight, we're gonna have to call it. But 188 mile an hour so far, beating the 185-ish what we had before. But yeah, good fun, really good fun. I'm hoping that the weather is gonna be like this tomorrow morning. Um, it is forecast to be, and yeah, we'll see, uh, see what we can do. But basically heading straight north tomorrow morning into Germany, into Belgium for some more filming, and then uh, onwards back to the UK. Good morning. It is another lovely day here in southern Germany. That over there, by the way, is the de-restricted autobahn which I was driving yesterday. It's looking fairly busy at the moment, um, but it is kind of just the end of rush hour here uh, in the morning, but still, ML40i all running, warming up at the moment. I mean, like I mentioned yesterday, there is so many bugs on the front of this car. It is a... Uh, mad actually <laughs> pretty mad but anyway inside we have everything all set up already got the v-box all in place and all set up obviously all the usual gopros as well um, we need to do a couple of miles obviously to properly warm it up um, but i have uh, some look, look, look on the sat nav uh, four hours uh, to my next stop so plenty of time to warm the car up and hopefully Plenty of time to get a little stretch as we go through the German section of today's journey. 2,550 kilometers covered so far. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it's been a big old trip. Um, still probably about a thousand uh, left to go. Turn the aircon down, it's actually boiling today. Already 18 degrees at nine o'clock in the morning. But anyway, let's get on the road. Four hours ahead of us today. See if we can get a slot and see if we can beat that 188, which we managed last night. It is definitely busier today out on the autobahn, but still, like I mentioned, we do have a fairly long journey today, so hopefully we'll be able to, to get a little stint in. Again, the weather is really, really good. Obviously, fairly early in the morning now, so uh, it's all a little bit cooler. Anyway. Cheeky 140. <laughs> it just picks up from 100 onwards, it is just rapid. It really is. Fairly big gap here. traffic about I mean we get little gaps like what we just had but you can just see way up above or way up ahead sorry that there is just some cars about and it's just not worth it still cruising at 110 ish at the moment like I mentioned yesterday it's just so casual <laughs> such a good mile munching car even in its current state it really is another fill up done um, managed to find some 102 uh, octane which is pretty good but as you can see in front of me I'm definitely not having much luck at all today. In terms of the VMAX for this video, if we just slide across here on the performance box touch, we can see 188.9 mile an hour is what we achieved yesterday, um, which is pretty cool. And then you can see we've had this thing running for a long time. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool, 188.9 mile an hour. But yeah, as you can see ahead, like things are really very, very busy and very, very slow. Good news just been cruising for the last like I don't know hour come around the corner it's like bam de-restricted woohoo <laughs> go fifth <laughs> it's so fast I've said that every single time I know but it is so fast. I'm pretty confident that this car will do 200 miles an hour. The way that it climbs up and keeps on climbing, it's not a case of you're running out of straight line speed, it's a case of you're running out of space. I'll be interested to see if anyone out there with an M140i um, or M240i has hit 200 mile an hour. There's a lot of pure turbo cars or a lot of stage three cars uh, out there which are running some mental power. I'd be really interested to see what is the highest speed that, that one of these has hit? Even though I do have about 70 miles left on the autobahn today, there's only very small sections I've found that are actually de-restricted. And so I think, I fear 
188.9 is the best that we're going to get today. Maybe I should have put some E30 in the tank, but like I mentioned uh, in yesterday's part of the video, it just, well, I'm on a road trip, it just doesn't make sense to carry a load of 100% ethanol with me. So I'm sure you can understand that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed nonetheless. This car is an absolute monster. I adore it so much. Um, and on a trip like this, it has been uh, really good fun, actually. Really, really good fun indeed. Um, but yeah. From me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.